Hi friends, Simon here from InformTrades.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at what some of the members of Informed Trades are saying about key price levels to watch, as well as whether or not we're going to have a crash coming up in October. As always, if you have any questions or anything you want to add to the discussion, you can join us over at InformTrades.com. Thanks and enjoy. Okay, there'll be three particular topics we'll be discussing in this video. Uh, one, whether or not the U.S. dollar will rally. Uh, two, the U.S. equities, their state, and whether or not they're going to retest the lows we saw in March of 2009, uh, or whether the upwards trend is still strong. And three, some noteworthy comments from members of the InformTrades.com community. First, with regards to the value of the U.S. dollar, uh, on the screen now is a chart shared by Informed Trades member Ruben uh, showing the value of the British pound against the U.S. dollar. This shows a head and shoulders pattern, um, and we're coming up upon the neckline here. This is a bearish uh, chart formation for pound dollar, uh, which would suggest that the British pound will fall in value against the U.S. dollar, which would suggest that the U.S. dollar will rally. Um, if we can sustain a break line, that might pave the way for a much move uh, or a move much further down, a sharp breakout blow, which was uh, one sign for a rally in the U.S. dollar. Uh, likewise, this is uh, a chart of the euro dollar shared with us by Informed Trades member DREBG, uh, Dave. Uh, Dave went short euro dollar at 47.20 with a price target of 36.90. Um, so that's about a, what is that? That's uh, about a thousand pip move there. Um, that's being targeted, uh, which could give an indication of what kind of rally in the dollar we may see if one does come. Um, so this is a euro dollar chart. You can see resistance at 47.20, uh, target at 36.90. Of course, anytime we're discussing the value of the dollar, we should also discuss the price of gold. Um, this chart on the screen now, shared with us by Informed Trades member EK Trader. Uh, shows the breakout of gold, the breakout above uh, resistance at 980, which was a price level that we discussed in our previous video, a few videos back on gold. Um, here, EK Traders highlighting though that the breakout of gold happened on lower volume. So gold, yes, gold did break above resistance at 980, but it did so on less volume than the last time it broke um, it broke that resistance level. This would suggest that the breakout is not strong and could be uh, could in fact be bearish. A bearish sign for the price of gold, which would mean that uh, the dollar is also rallying. So those are some signs of a potential rally in the U.S. dollar. Uh, in terms of U.S. equities, this is a chart also shared by uh, Informed Trades member EK Trader of uh, the S&P 500. <clears throat> um, you can clearly see S&P 500 has been rallying since uh, since the lows it reached in March of 2009. Uh, there was some debate in the Informed Trades community regarding uh, volume. Some traders were arguing that there was volume divergence, meaning uh, the volume has been declining since uh, since March of 2009, while the price is rising. This suggests a weak rally and uh, that the bear market will resume. Um, alternatively, there were there were other traders saying no, that the volume is uh, sufficient uh, relative to the environment and that this uh, this rally is legitimate. So that was a point that was uh, traders on both sides over at the Informed Trades community that was debated this past week. Moving on to some key comments, noteworthy comments from the Informed Trades community. This one from David B. The Dow definitely touches the 4,500 level whatever happens. Fundamentally, we are heading towards a new economic cycle where economic power is rearranged over the world and capitals will move to alternative investments worldwide. Community co-host Tech, there is a good chance, in my opinion, stocks could just hover for a while while the U.S. dollar continues on its trend down, especially when the health care bill and other expenses being pushed through Congress adding to the U.S. dollar supply. Informed Trades member Forexer, the dollar is still much linked to risk appetite. And of course, my focus is on the 980 price level uh, for gold, I view that as a key level, and uh, if the dollar can, or if the gold can fall below that, the dollar can rally and gold falls below 980, I think uh, that may pave the way for what we saw last time, uh, the same market correlations manifesting themselves, whereas uh, if gold stays, or the price of gold stays, relative to the dollar stays above 980, I think that may be a sign that uh, the markets are, or market correlations are changing. Of course, if you have anything else you want to add or any questions about this, you can join us over at informtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.